We have a few guests here this morning, and trust me on this one, you don't want them coming your way. Bed bugs are with us this morning on set. There they are right there. You see them in the bottom of the jar. I'll lift that up a little bit for you. Now I've earned my paycheck today. Experts tell us the little critters are bugging us more than they have in over 70 years. Missy Henriksen from the National Pest Management Association is here to show us all how to fight back. Good to have you with us this morning. Thank you. You're very brave, <laughs> I have to say, because they're creepy. They're kind of yucky looking. And I just want to warn you, if you're eating breakfast, put it down right now. Um, how do you know, though, if you have bed bugs, most importantly? A couple things you can be on the lookout for if you do have bed bugs. First of all, you oftentimes will see signs of itchy welts or big bumps that are on your skin, oftentimes in a pattern, sometimes in threes. We call them breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the bed bugs right Isn't on your that arm cute? there. Isn't that nice? <laughs> a little fun with bed bugs here. So the other things you can do if you don't see signs of the bites or you want to look for validation that you may have bed bugs is you actually can see them okay. um, if they are adult bed bugs. Adult bed bugs are small, brown, lentil seed-like looking bugs, mm -hmm. or apple seed-like looking bugs. Um, these are what they look like, as we see in here, and I'm going to keep away from that glass jar just in case. We don't want to case. break it on no, the floor no, no, in the no. studio, um, but so they're in can, the bottom right there. You can see them if you're looking in certain areas. Oftentimes, we do recommend you look around your bed area, around the seams and the mattresses. And underneath them, too. You want to lift up Absolutely. all the cushions and do all that. You, Absolutely. You can also find you also, skin or excrement, right? Right. You'll also see these are the skins that bed bugs have left behind. Okay. And in here, um, we're going to see some bed bugs that are, are dead. Great. And then this is another very obvious thing you may find. On your mattress cover, if you see something that looks like this, you are definitely going to want to contact a professional. If this is going to be an, an indication you have an infestation, this is the excrement of the bed bugs. But this actually, people could mistake this for mold, too, which you also obviously want to be aware of and be and, and get a, a treated. But so don't always confuse Absolutely. that for if mold. If you're seeing this on your, on your bed linen, something around that area, you're going to want to make a call. Okay, so as we look down here, you know, you mentioned look in, the, look in the cushions, look all through the couch. Why, though, do we seem to be finding them across the country? Fancy hotels, mm -hmm. people's homes were very clean. Mm -hmm. Why are they there? Bed bugs, it's a misnomer that they're just in the beds. They are not a socioeconomic related pest. They are not something that is a hygiene oriented pest. So you want to do some inspections. If you're bringing secondhand furniture into your home, for instance, mm, okay. you are going to want to make sure that you're not bringing in unwanted guests in there. But you're going to want to do a check looking around some of the cracks and crevices. So even in here in the creases, you're going to want lift to look up the cushions. Underneath. Absolutely. And particularly with couches, we oftentimes find them hiding underneath. They do not like to be seen. They okay. want to be hiding, waiting for their meal. So do a check underneath as well. And when you bring anything, with with all the increase in travel, this has really led to this bed bug infestation that we're seeing. So check everything when, before you walk in the door, right? Bed bugs are hitchhikers. They like to be with you. They like to be in your items. They go about the course of your day with you. Okay, and let's hope that if you find them, you can get rid of them <laughs> so they won't be coming with you anymore. Missy Henriksen, appreciate you being with us.